Welcome back, Lab Insiders. The idea of air travel, quite frankly, is a miracle. Some of us love it, and some of us hate it. We see it as a hassle. I can see why. Space is tight, planes delay, those tiny bathrooms or airport security. Our expectations as a consumer have reached cruising altitude, so I know why you despise flying. But love it or hate it, it is a vital component in our global economy. It's used in our defense and with contacting people around the world. In fact, if you think about it, aviation is a complex and very impressive system. Aviation fuel is its lifeblood. That's why we spend billions of dollars on aviation fuel labs to keep it pristine and ready for this demanding industry. But let's find out why. So welcome to Lab Insider for a very special episode with a focus on aviation fuel labs. Modern jet aircrafts need high quality fuel for the engines that provide optimum performance and a safe flight. Even if you wanted to challenge the skies on your own, you can't be a lone wolf. Regulations mean your aircraft fuel must meet strict safety, uh, quality, handling, traceability and performance requirements before the fuel can be used. Jet fuel testing services ensure that high degree of quality control. Now, there are two types of aviation fuel that are now being in use. The first is conventional hydrocarbon aviation turbine fuel that's refined directly from crude oil. Look out for names like Avtor, Jet A, Jet A1, or JP8. That's also known as jet fuel. The second type includes newer advanced fuels, such as Sasol, Semi, and fully synthetic fuels. Look out for the new fuel types based on groundbreaking source materials such as gas to liquid, coal to liquid fuels, biomass to liquid fuels, even fuel directly stemming from algae. So what can we expect though? A well-established lab with expertise in fuel analysis is necessary here. That's to check aviation fuel or AVGAS grades for quality and contamination issues. Here we can check fuels for contamination by water, solids or other fuels. This applies to any engines, by the way. Spark and ignition engines, conventional engines, and more. The fuels are sampled and tested so that lab technicians evaluate them according to detailed requirements regarding composition, volatility, combustion, corrosion, thermal stability, contaminants, additives, much more. The criteria is enormous. Now, we have appearance analysis, which accounts for how it looks visual appearance, color, particulate contamination. We then have composition analysis. Now that examines levels of acidity, anti-icing additives, copper and sulfur content, aromatic hydrocarbon types, these kinds of things that make up the actual content of the fuel. Traceability is important for being able to track distinct batches of fuel through the entire distribution system, right back to its origin. This isn't a quality control initiative, not only. It's actually a regulatory one. It requires constant documentation and is scrutinized at the highest possible levels. Fluidity and volatility, that means assessing fuel's freezing point and viscosity, as well as distillation, flash point, and reactions to gravity loads. Remember, a plane is going up and down through the toughest environments. I'll get into one more before you get bored. Thermal stability. Now, this test is a realistic simulation and it checks how often decomposition products enter back into the fuel system. Making sure that these things don't come back is essential to keeping an engine running. But those are the most common testing methods. There are more, but I'm not going to get into them. So how do we know a lab is equipped to carry out such a test? Experience is necessary. Of course, lives depend on this level of testing, so experts and global resources need to be equipped to meet the industry standards. Regulations, of course, they change non-stop, whereas new technologies are created and innovated. Knowledge and industry expertise ensures that your products and businesses are prepared to meet the evolving demands. That requires the best possible fuel and the best possible knowledge. So what kind of growing demands might there be, do you ask? Well, the environment is a big deal. There's a global focus on being net zero by 2050. And for that reason, aviation is turning to sustainable aviation fuel to reduce the industry's global carbon footprint. Some labs are already preparing at centers in 40 airports worldwide that currently distribute SAF. Testing is then conducted throughout the product life cycle from R&D to cargo inspection, and then finally delivered at the airport itself. 
biofuels have a place here too, as labs now need to gear up for compositional testing for Jet A1 fuel that uses biofuel blends. Meanwhile, labs are equipped for another challenge, airborne volcanic particles. These have the power to contaminate fuel and can cause serious operation problems in jet engines. For that, lab services help detect particles in engine components and filters using scanning electron microscopy. You can see an episode about that, by the way, in one of our other Lab Insider specials. So the question is, who's responsible? Frontline staff are supported by a team of development chemists and aviation experts. But what's most important is innovation. These labs need constant capital investment, which ensures the latest technology is being utilized. That includes extensive analytical capability with techniques such as GC, GCMS, ICP, UV, as well as highly specialized analytical testing equipment, for example, for sulfur management. So the next time you fly and your plane delays by 13 minutes, remember, you're taken care of by a complex and intricate system. You're riding the skies on billions of dollars of research, quality control, and accountability. Give these guys a little break next time. The labs that satisfy performance indicators help to maintain a constant high level of quality and assurance that keep our planes flying and the world that much smaller. So Lab Insiders, the next time you get in a plane, remember, these fuel labs are there to accompany you on your next journey. Be sure to check out our other episodes on gas labs, electron microscopy, as well as every other interview conducted here with the Lab Insider team. That's all for now. Take care. See you next time.